hello student so let us start our discussion uh, in previous tutorial we have discussed uh, introduction and uh, we have seen the different type of representations uh, of program okay means binary hexadecimal then uh, assembly language and then higher level programming language okay so we have also understood that uh, how uh, same program can be represented at uh, different level okay uh, from binary to uh, you can say higher level programming language now in this tutorial uh, we will start our discussion with the assembly language obviously so the first question will be what is language okay so language will be a medium to convey some information okay so what is language language is a medium to convey some information now rule for language is that uh, whatever language is being used okay uh, the speaker and the listener or you can say transmitter and receiver okay or you can say generator and uh, user uh, both must be aware with that language okay so that is a uh, common that, that that is a normal understanding okay now uh, computer cannot work uh, by its own okay we have to provide them instruction we have to provide the detail of operation to computer so to uh, convey this kind of information uh, language will be used okay so normally it is known as programming language now uh, which are the rules of uh, language okay so if we discuss uh, specifically about uh, assembly language okay here we are discussing assembly language so we will focus at which are the rules of assembly language so uh, assembly language will have three field okay uh, first field will be the label field so here this is the label field so here uh, label can be of maximum three character okay first character must be alphabet okay and then it will be terminated using comma okay so here as you can see uh, this is the label mean okay so uh, it at max it can have a three character first character must be alphabet okay uh, then remaining two character can be alphanumeric and uh, then it must be terminated by comma so that is the first field level okay now uh, next field will be uh, instruction now before uh, starting the discussion with uh, instruction let me specify one more characteristics of label okay here you can see what is the name of the label min mean okay and here the also we have used that same label okay so here we are using that label as a address so uh, it is known as symbolic address okay so uh, this field label field will specify and symbolic address okay it is not mandatory that in each field uh, we have to specify the label okay for example a, in all this instruction uh, preceding instructions we have not specified any of the label okay so it is optional and uh, it also specify the symbolic address now next is instruction so uh, how many types of instructions are there total so there are three type of instruction first one is uh, memory reference instruction next is non memory reference and third one is pseudo instruction okay so there are three type of instructions memory reference non memory reference instruction and pseudo instruction now if we discuss about memory reference instruction okay uh, then uh, uh, let's say uh, add and 
okay so for example add uh, then there will be some address 12 bit address so that is direct addressing mode and then add then uh, there will be 12 bit address and then i so this represent the indirect addressing mode so this is the example of memory reference instruction what is the example of a non memory reference instruction non memory reference instruction are categorized into two category uh, register reference instruction and input output instruction okay so register reference instructions are uh, like let's say complement accumulator uh, clear accumulator complement extended accumulator clear extended accumulator okay so these all are the example of non memory reference instruction so input output instruction and register reference instruction uh, will be considered into non memory reference instruction now next is pseudo instruction so this is another uh, category of instruction okay the then let us try to understand then what is pseudo instruction now pseudo instruction is a type of instruction which will not perform any operation on data okay so till now we have whatever uh, instruction we have discussed register reference memory reference or uh, you can say io reference uh, input output instruction okay all of them were dealing with the data directly or indirectly okay but pseudo instruction will not perform any data manipulation operation or data transfer operation okay or program control uh, operation but it will give some instruction or give some information to assembler okay so uh, let us try to uh, discuss let us try to understand that which are the various pseudo instruction okay so the first pseudo instruction is orgn next pseudo instruction is and next pseudo instruction is decimal n and next is hex x now what is meaning of this let us try to discuss uh, one by one now whenever we will put any program into the uh, primary memory okay so it is uh, it won't be always put on the fixed location we have to specify some starting address of uh, uh, you can say program okay so org will specify origin of program okay so here you can see what is the first instruction that is pseudo instruction and uh, org equals to one double zero okay so 100 so the first instruction this will be on 100 okay next will be on 101 102 103 likewise okay so org will specify the origin of a uh, program okay means we can say the uh, starting address of program this will be helpful whenever uh, we will start execution of any program uh, using pro uh, using program counter okay next is uh, end now end will specify the end of the program okay so uh, here you can see uh, previously we have discussed uh, hold okay as a register reference instruction okay so this pseudo instruction and is different from hold okay halt will uh, specify the uh, end of instructions okay so that means now there are no more instruction okay while end will specify the end of the entire program okay and now uh, at that time uh, we have discussed while we while we are discussing instruction cycle we have discussed okay that program will be divided into two part uh, one part will contain instruction and another part will contain data okay so the instruction part uh, end of the instruction part will be specified using hold and end of entire program will be specified using uh, end so normally between hold and end or whatever variable we are, we are going to use throughout the program that will be used or it will be specified okay so uh, that is end and will specify the end of the program so whenever compiler will uh, get this uh, pseudo instruction okay it will stop the execution that means it is not going to consider it next uh, decimal n and hexadecimal x so these are the uh, basically uh, pseudo instruction which will specify that the number is uh, having base let's say uh, here in decimal it is base 10 and then in uh, hexadecimal it is base is 16 okay so uh, the representation uh, of number 
uh, using uh, various base or uh, radix will be specified using this okay so if number is uh, stored in decimal format then it will be written dec and if it is stored in uh, uh, hexadecimal format then uh, hex will be written okay so this is how uh, uh, this two pseudo instruction will uh, help us to declare the variable okay clear with this now uh, we are done with the instruction and pseudo instruction now let us try to uh, focus on comment so if you want to specify anything okay uh, as a comment or as a information to the user then we can use the comment now here uh, let me tell you that uh, which are the comment in the program so uh, you can have idea that uh, this can be treated as a uh, comment so here So comment will be written like this. Okay. So <coughs> if you want to write comment, then we have to write it using slash. Now using slash, we can write the comment. Now whenever the uh, program will be converted into the binary, okay, at that time this comment will be ignored by the assembler. Okay. So that portion of uh, uh, you can say program it will be uh, ignored. Okay, so it won't be considered for conversion. Uh, clear? So, uh, how uh, it will work? Let's say how this conversion will work, how assembler will convert uh, this into this. So, uh, let's say first instruction is LDA and SUB. So, what is the, uh, you can say, uh, symbolic address uh, sub, sub is on, let's say, memory location uh, 103. 104, 105, 106, 107, 108. Okay, so sub is on uh, 107. Okay, so for LDA uh, opcode is 2. So 2, 107. Next is complement accumulator, which is register reference instruction. So 7, 2, double, 0. Then increment. Again, it is register reference instruction 7020. Add. It is memory reference instruction and MIN. What is the symbolic address of MIN? 106. Okay. And what is the uh, op code for add? So 1. So 1 and 106. Next is store. Store is again memory reference instruction. What is op code for store? 3. Okay. And what is the uh, symbolic address? Diff. So what is the actual address of diff? 108. So 3108 okay then uh, hold hold is again register reference instruction so 7001 next is uh, decimal 83 so 0053 this is in uh, hexadecimal format and uh, then uh, uh, next is uh, sub uh, decimal minus 23 so double f e9 this is represented using two's complement format okay and last one is uh, difference hex zero so uh, all will be zero. So this is how a program will be uh, uh, converted okay, into binary format. In uh, this tutorial, uh, we will keep up to this. In next tutorial, we will uh, start our discussion with the, uh, you can say, assembler. And uh, we will uh, discuss the first phase of the assembler. Thank you.